American pikas live in the western U.S. and Canada, and except in very special circumstances, they have to live in cold places. They're related to other pikas and to rabbits and hares, they're lagomorphs. Pikas don't hibernate despite living in cold places. They spend the summer making hay. They run around gathering up flowers and leaves, grasses, and what they can, and they stow them in a space under a rock. And then they can hide in this hay and stay warm during the winter and eat it, and they're, they're having a very good time there. Many people think pikas are really cute. And one of our early family vacations, finding a pika was a goal. And we went out of our way looking for pikas, and we found them, and we had a ball doing that. Because pikas like cold climates, many populations are being placed in danger by a warming climate. This figure shows, in the sort of bluish areas, the suitable habitat for pikas recently in the U.S. And then the little red areas in the centers there show the habitats that are expected to remain around the year 2090, one human lifetime from now, if we follow a high CO2 emissions path. Some populations of pikas out in the Great Basin are already endangered or have disappeared. We looked at the economic analyses of global warming, which compare costs of reducing climate change to the costs of the damages if we allow change to continue, and which show that we will be better off if we take some actions now to reduce warming. But in general, such economic analyses do not include pikas. Loss of populations of pikas, even extinction of the pika, has little or no economic value. We personally spent money on tourism that involved pikas, but we probably would have gone to see something else if pikas hadn't been there. Pikas aren't really monetized. They haven't been turned into their monetary value. And so the loss of pikas isn't monetized either in these calculations, nor would be loss of polar bears or many, many other species. If you believe that pikas are valued, if you pay a little money to save pikas, or if you believe we have an ethical or religious obligation to preserve creation, including pikas, then the optimum path for you would involve doing more now to slow global warming. If you don't believe pikas are a value, the economics still says that we should be doing something to slow global warming if we want to be better. Mm -hmm.